right, so today we're going to do he said, she said. So we're looking at an equation and we're deciding if he's right or she's right in each situation. So a monthly produce box is delivered to Miss Jones's door and it's put, um, there's initial setup fee for $25 um, plus a $30 each week. If Miss Jones spent $265, how many weeks did she receive the produce box? So I know that the $25 is just at the beginning plus $30 each week. And that's going to give me a total of $265. So that tells me that Arnold's right because Amy put the X on the initial setup fee and the initial setup fee is only one time. The student works out the problem on the exam and they're solving it. So we're deciding who solved it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 6 on each side. And I get negative 1. That checks out. And then I'm going to divide by um, negative 2 thirds. Divide by negative 2 thirds. So negative 1 over 1 divided by 2 thirds. Keep change flip. I get negative 3 over 2. That checks. So I'm going with Bart solved it correctly. Um, Bernice forgot that there should be a negative sign because... Oh, wait. I dropped my negative sign on my second one. So it should be positive. So I solved it incorrectly. Bernie says it should be three halves, and she's right, because I dropped my negative sign. So that's incorrect. It should be three halves positive because signs are the same. Solve this equation. Okay, so I'm going to add 3.5 to each side. When my signs are different, I'm actually going to subtract. It's going to be negative. I'm going to divide by 6, so x equals negative 2. So Carly is correct. The temperature of a pool started at 82 degrees, so I'm at 82. Then it's cooling down 0.4 degrees each hour, so minus 0.4h. Um, if the temperature is now 78, then how many hours have passed? So it should actually be, um, so we're going to subtract 82 on each side. So we get minus 0.4H. And then our signs are different, so we actually have to um, subtract. And even though it's upside down, you're going to flip it over. So 82 minus 78, and we get 4. We're going to divide by 0.4 on each side, so we get 10. So H equals 10 hours, so it should be Dakota. That's right. A student worked out the following problem on an exam, so we're going to subtract 10 on each side. And that step checks out. Then we're going to multiply by 5 on each side. That step checks out, so I agree. Eliza says the problem solved correctly. Then we're going to solve this problem, so we're going to subtract 9.5 on each side. Okay, um, we get negative 1.5x. Signs are the same, so I'm actually going to add negative 13.5. I'm going to divide by negative 1.5 on each side. So x equals... It's going to be a positive 9 because the signs are the same and I'm dividing. All right. While touring the city, Bernie's buying lunch for his family from a food truck. He purchases one taco for $2.75 and four cheeseburgers, so plus four cheeseburgers, and spent $23.75. How much was each cheeseburger? 
So I'm actually going to subtract 275 on each side. I get 4C equals 21. I'm going to divide by 4. C equals 6.25. Mm -mm. 5.25. All right, a student works out the following exam problem. So we have minus 5 on each side. Signs are the same, so I'm actually going to add here. So this should be negative 27, then I'm going to multiply by negative 3 on each side. So this is going to be x equals positive 81. So hue is correct. All right, then I'm going to subtract 15 on each side. Signs are the same, so I'm going to add. Going to multiply by negative 6 on each side. So x equals 141. So Ivy's correct. Last one the Hudson family is saving for a trip to Disney World. It costs $3,200. Mr. and Mrs. Hudson already set up, uh, set aside $1,500 for the trip. So $1,500 is set aside. And then they save for 16 weeks, so plus 16W. They need 3,200. So I'm going to subtract 1,500. So I have 16W equals 1,700. Then I'm going to divide by 16. So that's going to give me 106.25. So Janelle's correct. If you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you have a great rest of your day.